Well, let me put it this way. Um, this, the, one of the reasons that this country is so great is that we have the ability through the Constitution to have a peaceful transfer of power. I bring that up, and I bring it up from Sugar Land, Texas, looking it down at 30,000 feet. This is what I think has happened. Um, during the summer, the Clinton, administ uh, Clinton campaign uh, knew that they had to, to counter her email scandal. They started working on this uh, dossier. Uh, the campaign uh, uh, put things in the dossier. They got things from the Russians. They put this uh, dossier together for a late October surprise. Um, it, it, w these texts show that uh, the, the president and the administration, everybody, all the Democrats, appointed Democrats were involved in this. Um, it didn't work. Trump won. Uh, Sidney Blumenthal came up with an idea uh, a strategy uh, to take Trump out. And they started by by this narrative of a, a scandal, a, R a Russian collusion, so that the media is talking about a scandal while they're using the dossier and using the FBI and the Department of Justice to undermine and go after um, uh, uh, the, Trump, the Trump and Trump administration. The Democrats were even calling for impeachment before Trump was even inaugurated. Um, and so all of this was going on. It looks like to me that it was a, politi a political coup d'etat. Um, and so it, it goes on. The FBI stonewalls the Congress for over six months. They, we finally start getting information. We find out they lied to the FISA court. They found out that they were wiretapping the Trump, not just his campaign, but the Trump transition team and the Trump administration. Um, and and now um, uh, it's all the evidence is coming out. I, I know I sound crazy, but but this looks like to me they they were trying to take down Trump uh, and not allow him to be president of the United States. So, and I think I know your answer to this question, but I want to ask it nonetheless. Does this latest development in your mind give rise to this assertion made by the president and some Republicans of political bias? within those departments that I just mentioned. Look, I got to tell you, Miranda, I served in this government for over 22 years. I know how people work. And I know how things get uh, transferred back and forth. I know how parties uh, work with each, uh, within each other to make things happen. Nothing happened, uh, particularly with Democrats, because the rule of law means nothing to them. Um, all of this, uh, the Obama administration knew I mean, you, you can't have Loretta Lynch as and Eric Holder as uh, attorneys general and, and uh, Comey as director of the FBI and not have the political part of the Obama administration know what's going on. In fact, now we know that they were asking for briefings. How many briefings did they have? This went on for months. Uh, so everybody knew what was going on. And the campaign came in. And the campaign was brought into it, too. So they, they were all working and colluding together. And now we find out they were colluding with the Russians. Um, so, so uh, sure, I, I think as more and more evidence comes out, we're going to find out that uh, this was a, a strategy, a scheme uh, uh, to, to take Trump out. And, and it was it, everybody is people. People need to go to jail. And I hope that's what the ultimate outcome of this is. Newsmax TV. Watch us on Dish, Direct TV, AT&T UVerse, Verizon Fios, and or download our free app. Don't have Newsmax TV? Call your local cable provider and request Newsmax today.